Sound of Violence stars Jasmine Savoy Brown as Alexis, a deaf girl who recovered her hearing during the brutal murder of her family when she was 10. The visceral experience awakened synesthetic abilities in her and started her on an orphan path of self-discovery through the healing music of brutal violence. This is written and directed by Alex Neuer, and it hit VOD last weekend after premiering at South by Southwest back in March. It's a slasher film in the vein of Saw, with brutally violent kill sequences of people stuck in very creative traps. Though this time around, think of it as if Jigsaw himself was fully operating the traps and the people in them had no option of freeing themselves. Much of the film centers around the once-deaf Alexis perceiving a lot of the noises she hears as these swirls of color, which is a form of a real condition known as synesthesia. And the way that Alexis is able to retain her hearing is through a high of listening to violent noises. This gives way to a lot of beautifully filmed sequences where Alexis hears a noise and we cut to a shot of how she perceives it, with the vibrant colors bursting onto the screen, accompanied by some stunning sound mixing that puts you right there with her. Once we get a glimpse of how Alexis reacts upon hearing some of these violent sounds, it's clear how addicted to them she is. And as she goes further down the rabbit hole of trying to feed that addiction, that's what leads her to trapping people in these grisly kill sequences. And it's those sequences sequences that are some of the most engaging moments of the film, mainly for their sheer creativity, but also for how these off-the-wall moments play against Alexis herself, who we see is totally entranced by what she hears, and just relishes in the moment, which will send chills up your spine. Fans of gory or horror movies won't be disappointed here, though I must admit that one thing that may turn people off, besides the actual violence, is just how unlikable of a person Alexis becomes, and how she undergoes a hero-to-villain transformation. While Jasmine Savoy Brown absolutely crushes it here, there is this real sense of being uncomfortable watching someone who first comes off as charismatic and sympathetic quickly turn into someone who's cold, emotionally distant, and absolutely sinister by the end. I can see that turning people off, though I will say that I do appreciate Brown doesn't really go too over the top with her performance, instead trying to rely more on her facial expressions, mixing euphoria while being totally unfeeling towards others, blending the two together so well. I really hope we get to see more from her in the near future. Though another thing worth noting is that the film undergoes some pretty drastic tonal shifts, and when it ventures out of horror territory, it's honestly not as engaging. The other major focus of the film is Lily Simmons as Alexis's roommate and secret crush, Marie. And while Simmons herself was fine, I didn't find Marie quite as compelling of a character. While there's some tension due to the rift between her and Alexis, a lot of the more confrontational moments between them come off as clunky the way they were written. On top of that, I would have liked to have known a little more about her character, so I can be given more of a reason to root for her. There's also a minor subplot where we follow a detective who's trying to figure out who's behind all these brutal murders, and the film will again briefly undergo another tonal shift in the vein of a hard-boiled cop drama. But there are so few of these moments, and they come and go so quickly, that they felt more like an afterthought, and didn't really flow with the rest of the film, especially in relation to the ending, which I won't spoil. But anytime there's a big moment involving this character, I really didn't feel much. Overall, it's an ambitious but pretty uneven film. I think had it fleshed out the areas where it wasn't based in horror so much, it would have been incredible. But that being said, Jasmine Savoy Brown is great, as are the creative, brutal moments of violence that make the film live up to its title. The good still ultimately outweighs the bad, and I still think it's worth watching, even if it's just once. Sound of Violence gets a 6.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Sound of Violence or are you planning to see it and what were your thoughts? Did you find it uncomfortable? Do you have a favorite slasher movie? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.